Hello YouTube, in this video we're going to take another look at whether an object would be visible and only visible from the Antarctic, but this time we're going to take a look from a different angle. Once again we're starting from Auckland, New Zealand as our viewing location. We're going to change our viewing location to the South Pole, Antarctica. Okay, so here we are at the South Pole, Antarctica. Let's have a scan around the sky. Again, we can see the ecliptic line, which is the path, the apparent path that the sun takes through the sky. It's also the path that the planets and the moon follow uh, through the sky. Now what we're going to do this time is a little bit different. We're actually going to lift off the surface of the Earth. We're going to travel out into space just a few thousand kilometers to see what we can see from, from that position. So here we go, I'm lifting off just a little bit to, to start with to give you an idea. So we're 478 metres above the South Pole of Antarctica and we're going to go higher. So we're now 5,800 metres, we'll keep going out through the atmosphere, out into space. We're now 105 kilometres up, keep going, we're 1,000 kilometres up. I'm going to go up to around about 5,000 k's, okay. So we're 5,157 kilometres above the South Pole. Now I'll just shift this up so we can see. Now I've already tagged a few markers in here from different places. We've got Christchurch in New Zealand. Uh, we've got um, Punta Arenas, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, we've got uh, Stanley in the Falkland Islands. We've got the new Maya station, which is uh, getting a lot of attention down in the Antarctic. Now I'll zoom in a little bit. I'm zooming in uh, like I'm using a telescope. I'm not actually changing our elevation. You can see that our elevation is still 5,157 kilometres above the Earth. Um, so we're directly above the South Pole. What I'm going to do now is just change the time so that we can get a bit more sunlight uh, around the place so we can see a little bit better. So from 5,000 kilometres above the South Pole we can see Christchurch. I'm zooming in. Again I'm not changing the elevation. I'm just zooming in so that we can see a little bit better. Uh, where are we? Here we go. So that's the bottom of the South Island of New Zealand. We can just see the bottom of uh, Tasmania here, and let's see what else we can find. <clears throat> okay, again I'll just change the time a little bit so we can get some sunlight around where we're looking. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So there's the bottom of Argentina, and here are the Falkland Islands. So if we were 5,000 kilometres out into space, or I'll put it another way, if there was an object 5,000 kilometres out into space, then the people viewing from these locations, from the, from the bottom of, um, of New Zealand or the, the South Island of New Zealand, would clearly be able to see this object only 5,000 kilometres away. Let's go a little bit higher. I'm going to go up to... Yeah, 7,360 kilometres now. Okay, we'll change the time again. And you can see that we're actually seeing more countries coming into view. Okay, I'll just zoom in here. This is the bottom of uh, South Africa. Changing the time again. Clearly we can see the bottom of, of Argentina, Chile on, on the uh, left, left hand side here. So now just how far out are we? We're currently 7,361 kilometres out. The Earth's diameter is 12,756 kilometres. So we're actually less than one Earth diameter out from the surface of the Earth. Now, for these people that are suggesting that uh, Nibiru is visible from the Antarctic, the South Pole, or from Newmar Station, 
We've got a problem because uh, I would imagine that this object would be further than one Earth diameter out from the South Pole if it were really there. In fact, I imagine it would be a lot further. Our moon is on average about 384,400 kilometres away. Let's go further out. Okay, we've got a way to go yet. 317, 346, 377. Let's go back a little bit. Three, 375,512 kilometres. I can zoom in again. Once again, I'm not changing the distance, I'm just zooming in. We're still at 357, uh, 375,512 kilometres, I should say. Now, as you can see, we can see quite a lot now. We can see Australia there. I'll just rotate this round. We can see pretty much all of Australia. We can see all of New Zealand. We can see much of the bottom of South Africa. And we can see quite a bit of Argentina there. So this is the distance to the moon. And again I make the point that we're directly above the South Pole. Or should I say directly below the South Pole depending on whether you're standing on your head or not like we do in the Southern Hemisphere. So even if the Moon was directly below or above the South Pole depending on how you want to put it then plenty of people around the world would still be able to see it. It wouldn't be hidden as people are claiming. So hopefully the second view just helps to put things into perspective. Um, be sure to check out my discussion page on Facebook, uh, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. I'll post a link in the description box. Thank you for watching.